All right, guys, is Bitcoin gonna sweep the lows again? Well, let's try to find that out. So without any ado, I'm going to jump on the charts right off, guys. We have Bitcoin in this ugly fucking piece of price action distribution coming from the tops right here, man. Holy crap. Just by looking at all of the crypto assets right now, guys, all of, all of the charts are looking completely bearish as fuck, man. Holy crap. Wrecked, right? Completely wrecked coming from the lows. Now, guys, eventually what was supposed to happen is that we were... If, if this was not supposed to be a dead cat bounce, then we would have been trending alongside the 21 simple moving average, which looks to me like we are rejecting this one to the downside again. And guys, we are taking this low again to the downside, which is right at the $37,000 levels, guys. Now, this candle, by the time this video is uploaded, most likely this candle will have its closure. And it looks to me like, yeah, you want to be closing back below the 21 simple back again, guys. So which calls for a little bit of concern and it calls for more patience guys now why are we looking like this again why are we looking at a price action which is completely completely freaking looking like shit onto these levels guys because we had hidden bearish divergence man onto these price points right here right between this high and this high whereas on the rsi if i just simply put the chart off guys on the rsi your rsi was pretty low right here at 45 onto this high whereas your rsi onto this high was at 55 right guys the strength well, the bulls tried with a lot of strength to take this high out to the upside. But looks to me like we are currently failing this one and we're coming back down again to test some low levels on RSI as well. Now, guys, what could eventually happen is the fact that we could be bottoming with a little channel, something like this coming off of the lows, guys, a little broadening wedge coming off of the lows. Now, the confirmation for this entire reversal on Bitcoin itself would have been a confirmed factor had we taken down this high right here, guys. Now, this one looks to me like a pure resistance, right? Now, there is a lot of sell pressure happening on Bitcoin out of this entire zone, man. This entire zone is consists well this zone consists of a lot of sell orders coming from a lot of retail crowd and well a lot of institutions as well guys the confusion in the space keeps on going more and more and holy crap i can't just i simply i can't deny the fact that how similar situation is right now as to what really happened in, the, in, in any bull cycle guys in any bubble burst exactly something like this happens now everything turns bearish right everything all the news all the people whatever you see in twitter anybody is tweeting with such amount of bearishness right this is what exactly happens guys this is why this fucking crypto market is completely emotionally driven right and guess what guys you are in you are in crypto educator community no matter these assets go to the moon or to the downside you're gonna make money because you are looking at some key technical analysis right now just to look at the charts from any technical standpoint guys anybody can pinpoint out where your support and resistance is at where your rsi is at like what but guys the general the general thing which you really want to figure out as a trader is the market strength as a whole guys as a whole now generally you don't look at these rsi signatures as your potential bottoming and topping out signal you try to figure out the general strength in the market and can the price action break the resistance to the upside and eventually turn this entire trend upside down well looks to me like in this particular go right here nope 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 looks to me like you're failing this one guys you're not looking good in the price action i mean you it, it, it's just it's, it's not good it's not good right completely not good now the only thing which i'm looking at onto this price action is a four hour candle closure below 36,000, guys now you do have a buffer zone between 37 and 36 but the 36,000 dollar levels if broken down if we lose this one to the downside guys we'll be sweeping the lows back again now this entire formulation on the price action if i just simply just guys check this out this entire formulation right you go to the upside and you have a massive distribution going on right here and then you sweep the lows right here if you compare the entire macro situation, guys, this low is still higher than this low right here. This one was a macro low which formulated back in the days uh, during the third week of January. And we are formulating a base which is overall higher than this one, guys, higher than this base, right? Now, that would be pretty much clear if we jump onto the three-day time frame and some other macro time frames as well, guys. Now, this low under formulation is certainly higher than this one. This reminds me of, this reminds me of a price action pattern happening on these levels on Bitcoin, guys. Now, let me just simply zoom on to this one right here. You can see you had this exponential rise to the upside. Now, guys, the context of the price action and the magnitude of the price action is certainly far beyond what we saw right here. Because, guys, do not forget, Bitcoin got rejected from where? 
Sixty fucking thousand dollars! Holy shit, man! One year and this asset just flew to the fucking moon, man! Holy crap! And a lot of people are gonna be just salty, guys. A lot of people who entered the market on these plays are gonna be completely salty. Just completely ignoring the fact that we are up more than twenty x in a single wave to the upside after the COVID capitulation, right here, guys. Now let me just simply get back into this pattern right here and try to tell you what I am looking at, guys. Now remember this low out of which this entire trend started. Um, they're going to the upside which eventually turned out to be distribution it came back down all the way towards these price points which was a low higher than this low which was formulated right here guys now why am i talking about fractals why am, am i a fractal squirrel for this one yeah guys yeah let's be fractal squirrels right now, why am i talking about this guys now this low right here check this one out it was crazy volatile right after you rejected some key price points you had a crazy bottom formulation a very volatile low formation guys where your well to be honest with you there was no particular specific price point where the price action had bottomed out right whereas you did have this $10000 area as your major psychological number where the price action got supported from guys and most of the high time frames this they, they just kept on closing above $10000 out of which you eventually started going to the upside creating lows which were consistently higher than your previous lows guys higher than previous lows now i'm just simply talking about the trend i don't think that exact same thing is going to repeat itself again but as far as the trend goes on bitcoin itself this is something which happens guys scare the fuck out of everybody and just formulate a low which is higher than your previous low and continue your trend to the upside right now the landscape has certainly changed guys we got rejected from 60k right now that's crazy now until we are formulating this similar situation on these price points guys your 30k could be that round figure 30k dollars per bitcoin could be round figure which means that we did close the weekly below some key levels guys we did close the weekly candle below the 21 simple moving average itself although the 3 day time frame is formulating a base right here onto the $30,000 levels. Now, once you start looking at three-day closures or maybe weekly closures as well, below 30K, guys, holy crap, man. I mean, look, we will be in for some crazy amount of death and destruction, to be honest with you. I mean, that would be crazy. Bitcoin losing hold on 30K would not be a good news. Let me be very frank and honest. It would not be a fucking good news, man. And if you want to be staying in these markets and if you're still here in these markets, the only thing which can work out to make money is going to be trading itself guys trading these markets is going to be the only source of making money because any retracement which goes to the upside is probably going to be a bearish retracement guys bearish retracement the macro has flipped bearish any up move is going to be a rejection R -r 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 rejected guys now bitcoin getting rejected on the 55 itself what do i want for this small time frame trend to finally take to the upside guys specifically this sell block right here is certainly going to be a resistance point but we have to formulate a little bit of moving average magic as well on these price points guys we do at least on the four hour time frame we do want to see this 21 simple curling to the upside whereas the 55 simple doing something like this again now once you start crossing up once you start having that little bull cross happening on the four hour time frame which that could potentially signal that your let's just say small time frame mid time frame bottom is in and then you're completely fine to reverse the trend to the upside back again most likely taking down this high right here and guys well your ultimate fathers and your grandfathers of all the rejection is going to be standing in at fifty thousand dollars per bitcoin i personally feel guys now look the macro has flipped bearish so um, the, the way most likely everybody is going to be trading right now is going to be a bearish bias trades guys well the markets decide what the trend has to be you or me cannot decide what the trend is guys we are here to make money whether this whether this thing goes to the upside or the downside doesn't really matter right now the trend has shifted to the downside guys which means that we do have to look at these things like a bear like a big fat ugly gigantic motherfucking bears man holy crap i think the bear season is going to be on again if we are unable to support this one right here guys in the small time frames i do want this one to hold up man holy crap thirty-six thousand dollars levels of bitcoin is your key support once you start losing this one we're going to be sweeping the lows again where everybody's going to be catching on to their breaths and wondering whether bitcoin is going to bottom out again on the thirty thousand dollar levels and guys if you fail this one you know the deal you know the drill as well what the fuck is going to happen you know guys there is going to be no support right here and refer to the analysis that i've posted on discord channel itself guys there's a huge fucking volume vortex happening between these price points basically you can just simply fucking teleport if you break below 30k you can teleport to 20k 
like that or not like that or something just like that. guys it would be a slow sell off until some key liquidity areas guys now these assets they generally flow between volumes guys volume nodes are quite important in terms of trading now vpvr indicator is not available for free i guess in trading view although you can just go for a little subscription for five dollars a month or something like that and you can get that vpvr going for your own analysis right now guys this was pretty clear if you just simply go by the volume analysis check this out this is a huge humongous fat ass support guys maybe a better support than the resistance at 60k itself as far as the volume indicator goes guys now this is quite spread well this one was quite tight majorly happening on to 58000 dollar levels right whereas this one is a quite volatile and a huge ass volume support happening on to these price points and guys check this out this is the fucking volume vortex i'm talking about there is no volume there is absolutely shit piece of garbage volume on to these price points once we start breaking this one to the downside holy crap i don't think we're going to be standing on to these price points or anyway guys we're going to be stopping on to exactly at $20,000 testing out the previous all time highs which man i mean look we start breaking below 30k the general crypto landscape is not really going to look nice man i mean i i i say it with a grain of salt right here but it is just not going to look nice i this is something which i'm honestly looking at the charts right now and this is what i feel right this is what i feel although let's talk about some hopium man let's just let's just let's just, let's talk about some hopium we could be extremely well down to these levels and test this one again and again and again and start eventually formulating a base guys something like the previous distribution i was talking about on these price points right something like that could eventually happen now this is the scenario which i am personally eyeing for right because guys look everybody was extremely bullish here and everybody is extremely bearish here guys now if you are new to these crypto markets if you <laughs> goddamn new fucking trader here you know the amount of fuckery which goes on right now this is crazy man holy crap just open twitter and just look at everybody just talking about capitulation sordel 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 guys where the fuck is your hordel where the fuck is your diamond hands now right you must be shitting your pants if you just over leverage yourself right here on these levels on bitcoin right now <laughs> be be objectively driven otherwise you're just going to scream sordel at the bottoms and you're going to scream hordel at the tops man this is this is this is what general landscape is like me personally and this entire community which i'm trying to just just at least give a mindset i'm trying to throw a mindset towards all of you guys guys look we have to be objectively driven and if bitcoin bounces off of these levels and is unable to close three day candles above sorry below this price point right here yes you'll be bouncing back again to the mother of all resistance as 50k and then we can talk about whether the <laughs> <laughs> whether the crypto market wants to trend back again or it wants to reject like a little bitch and get down onto some key levels right okay guys next up we have ethereum now this is certainly looking way better than bitcoin why do i say that guys because bitcoin rejected the weekly 21 way the fuck below where it was at now this one supporting the price action on the 2000 levels guys which is why weekly closure let's just say three day closure and two day closures below 2000 levels on ethereum is going to be extremely critical right we are looking at ethereum being supported somewhere alongside the 2000 levels once we start losing this one Now on a weekly close. Now this can I just simply can't ignore this motherfucking ugly looking candle right here, man. This is crazy. This is crap. I mean, this is shit. This piece of it's it's the rejection off of top, man. I mean, it's 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 humongously bad, man. If I just simply go ahead with the okay, guys. Now check this out. Now this is a, this is a bubble burst, man. If you are new to financial markets in general, right? This is exactly what a fucking bubble burst looks like. And if you are holding on Ethereum from these price points, man, any retracement who goes to the upside just sell it. and get on with your life man just stop guys look 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 what generally happens in a crypto bear market if it really has to happen in a crypto bear cycle guys just like how you how you saw in the bull cycle hodl 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 everywhere hodl right you came back to some key moving averages hodl 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 you came back again to some key moving hodl 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 guys when the bear market triggers every retracement is going to be a sodl it's going to be a sodl most likely right which is why guys you want to reward this if uh, it's going to be really it's going to be really difficult to reward this trend man holy crap coming from 4000 dollar levels as a massive gung ho rejection coming from these price points it's going to be really difficult to take this one to the upside back again man holy crap if we come back onto these price points then we can talk about potential rejection guys as the previous video on ethereum i was talking about how your 3500 dollar levels are going to be 
key 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 critical levels on ethereum against usd as well now guys the weekly is currently being supported at $2000 levels and technically no matter how much bearish this price actions look like technically we are still in a bullish trend in the weekly time frame guys in the weekly time frame once we start rejecting the 21 simple itself now eth will be below 21 simple bitcoin will be below 21 simple that is when most of your retracements will be major sortle guys major major sort right now we are still looking at some teeny tiny bit of hopes across crypto markets oh my ethereum and my doggy coins are gonna go to the moon elon musk is sending Do dogecoin to the moon and elon musk better send my ass to the moon as well most likely that's not happening for you most likely that's not happening man holy crap dogecoin is gonna go to shit and uh, any asset which generally has no freaking use case in the market is just simply gonna get wiped out man holy crap you look at these wipeouts happening onto these crypto markets again and again and again and again now there is one more line of hopium for all of you which is this stupid line right here guys now well ev ever since you started this trend on the weekly schedule after this bullish engulf candle happening on the thousand dollar levels guys you're getting supported again and again now you're here right again now which is why <laughs> let me bring this point again two thousand dollar levels weekly close below that one crazy bad crazy bad not not good won't be won't be nice guys now most of the action is happening on the small time frames guys as we did have some bearish hidden bearish divergence playing out between this point. Now, holy, this, this was massive. This was a humongous amount of hidden bearish divergence on Ethereum as well, guys. This one got, <laughs> this dead cat bounce, bounce got a little lower extended for the time, which is why we're getting rejected and coming on to some key levels, trying to cool down and then figure out what's going to happen now, guys. This is your hopium right here. The TSI cross, the true strength indicator is crossed to the upside, which is why if it comes back down on the TSI red line on this this area, guys, now if, if, if this, this is a very powerful indicator tsi you should certainly have this up your charts with the rsi itself guys and well once you <laughs> you are crossed to the upside and once you come back down that is where the real test is most likely going to happen guys until then until then this entire region holds true to your support as of now as of now the price could come back down onto these price points at $2,300 levels and eventually try for a little bounce again onto these price points but guys exactly what is happening on bitcoin is being replicated on ethereum as well why is it well, why was this dead cat bounce so humongous as compared to Bitcoin? Guys, this is a fucking altcoin. Ethereum is an altcoin, guys. And, well, to be honest with you, the dominance is just... Bitcoin dominance in the market is generally looking like shit. Which is why most of the dips which are coming on altcoins, which are not exactly dips, but any downside which is coming on altcoin is just averted by a massive humongous upside, guys. There is just a lack of liquidity happening onto key levels. There are no resistance. There are no supports. These fucking assets are just simply free floating around right now you don't want to play with fire on these levels don't try to pinpoint the tops and bottom let me repeat that do you want to get wrecked or do you want to stay alive in these markets guys the first and the foremost objective for all of you listening to this content is survival man holy crap if you are still in these markets learn to survive learn to survive and i assure you 70 to 75 percent of your job as a trader will be done guys we are traders our weapon is our capital and you want to make sure that your capital survives in these markets and if you keep on try to catch these bottoms guys which just invalid this low right here and then we just guys you you, you will get right you will get right don't pinpoint the bottoms just wait for this bottom as a hole to form itself maybe and then eventually tie some some sort of upswing or something like that but until then it's it's, it's a simple foolish game it's just a fool's act to just pinpoint bottoms man it's not not gonna work out right now what you want to see in the small time frames is again 55 simple 21 simple you want a little crossover happening on these moving averages then we can avert the trend then we can avert a potential capitulation coming in on ethereum guys now okay I am not a big fat bear and I I just hate looking at these assets like this. But guys, it just reminds me of the previous bear market. I mean, it it just reminds me of 2017 and how, and how all of the dreams were getting shattered, including mine, <laughs> including fucking mine. It was just simply getting shattered. Most of the dips were dead cat bounces, were simply dead cat bounces, guys. Now, you don't want to sweep these lows back again. And the macro, well, guys, you know the drill. Once you start closing macro candles below $2,000 levels, Ethereum will look like shit and the general altcoin market will look like extreme shit.
shit garbage yo man holy shit garbage piece of price action coming up if we lose 2000 dollar levels on a weekly closing basis on ethereum as well all right guys now next up we have dot polka dot similar situation right here a massive big fat rejection happening in the weekly time frame itself which is why even if we bounce all the way towards 27 dollar levels on uh, polka dot in the first and foremost pass it's going to be a sell it's going to be a sell right here on this resistance guys right here right now this humongous piece of gigantic <laughs> red candle it just just simply cancelled out a lot of gains coming in all the way from these areas starting in the first week of february guys giving up everything polka dot just just ruining the complete party and check this out guys huge bearish engulf volume as well towards the sell side on the weekly time frame itself happening on binance where most of the market liquidity currently stands at and you're looking at key rejection of these levels guys on the first and the foremost pass even if you bounce from these levels on polka dot you're gonna be looking like something like this guys and then eventually curl back again and then will we try to form it a bottom guys i look 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 you can just simply forget this line right here i'm i'm not trying to predict anything these markets will be more of reactions now rather than predictions now these small things that i'm just showering on to you is very important guys it's just 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 listen to all of these things in details because because guys bear market is where most of the learning takes place guys me personally i developed as a trader i built myself as a trader throughout this bear market i never gave up on crypto assets i never did guys now there's one more thing which i want to talk about guys most of you who are watching <laughs> the videos coming from this channel are potentially smart money because guys nobody looks at technical analysis nobody looks at invalidations most of them are just simple blindfolded investors who bought dogecoin because elon musk tweeted that guys most of the retail crowd is like that well okay i hope you are not one of those because something which i'm going to tell you guys is most likely going to kill a lot of vibe right the money which floated into the markets onto these levels guys or like let's just say a lot of people having dreams having crazy dreams that i'm going to be a millionaire and polkadot is going to go to 100 dollars 100000 2000 dollars onto these levels are dumb money guys they are dumb money dumb money enter the markets onto bitcoin at 60000 dollar levels so if you know anyone who fomoed completely into crypto markets onto 60k levels on bitcoin is the biggest example of dumb money guys this is not meant to be personal to any one of you this is where you're supposed to learn things and this is where you're supposed to learn the ta as well guys everybody's gonna go out and blame fucking elon musk and all that guys well you can argue about the fact that yes there are a lot of fundamental things which were caused by elon musk tweeting on some levels on bitcoin as well but guys the market was extremely overextended and bitcoin was just just distributing alongside fifty eight thousand dollar levels which caused the price action dumping down onto some key levels right now at 30k guys whoever fomoed onto bitcoin or any crypto assets when bitcoin was at $60,000 that that's that's simple dumb money that's that's simple dumb money now if you are dumb money and if you're still in the markets this is the fucking time to learn not the time to exit or not the time to just scratch your head and just maybe i don't know jump off of the balcony just don't do that don't think of it like that guys this is the time to build yourself and time to be a trader as well guys time to be a trader in these markets right now one potential trade on the weekly time frame for dot is right here for you guys you can just if if you just simply keep on closing weekly candles above let's just 16 to 70 dollar levels and the small time frames this do start indicating some bullish crossovers to the upside guys most likely polka dot will start pulling the upside all the way towards this resistance standing at 30 dollar levels and this is going to be a major sell off uh, which is aligning perfectly fine with 3k ethereum or maybe 50 thousand dollars bitcoin right and that could be a potential trade you just simply enter the markets onto these levels and exit right here now is this a financial advice fuck no this is a weekly time frame and we can't really base our positional management onto the weekly time frame guys when you're when you're trading the small time frames you got to stick to small time frames right the weekly is for the macro analysis guys the macro has flipped bearish on polka dot completely fucking bearish on polka dot i just guys i have posted a lot of ta videos on polka dot i know that i've done that because the trend was to the upside and as soon as the trend as soon as the bitcoin's trend rejected some key levels guys that was, that was a key indicator for the entire crypto market dumping back onto some key levels of values for the time being market has found some value onto this level right now let's 
let's just jump on to the small time frames for a little curiosity guys now I, i'm i'm pretty fucking sure you would have had a lot of hidden bears divergence between this point this point and this point which is why you're just simply rejecting these price points again now on pop on polka dot particularly this is a steep ass trend man this is this is a very steep trend this is a steep looking trend as compared to ethereum as well does that mean this is going to go to zero no it's not going to go to zero just like that it's probably going to trend on the sideways alongside this resistance line and probably formulate a base alongside this channel okay let me just do something yeah this is your sell channel right here guys you do have your overhead resistance on to polka dot on these key price points standing in at 24 or 5 dollar levels right until you reclaim them to the upside and the 4 hour time frame flips bullish at least in the moving average sense the 55 and the 200 starts going to the upside this is going to be sell guys this entire trend line is going to act like resistance and any time you come and interact with this resistance line you're just going to reject you're just going to simply go down back again right until you reclaim this high right here and until you just break free out of this down trending guys out of this down trending price action ultimately as of now looking at the rejection right now guys i'm not i'm i'm not holding a crystal ball but if i had to trade this one i would have been looking like this. i i would have been looking at the price action doing something like this now am i am i bearish on the price action fuck yes i'm bearish on the price action we just formulated a high out of the dead cat bounce right here and got rejected on the 4 hour time frame and your immediate rejection was below the 21 simple on the 4 hour time frame negating any bullish bias just negating any bullish bias in the intraday time frame as well guys you have a huge volume node happening out of these levels as well if you just simply zoom out right here do we have that do we do we no we don't we do have volume nodes right here but the small time frames yes you do have your volume expansion right here at the 20 Two dollar levels, guys. You do want to trend above this one for any reversal, any potential reversal on Polka Dot. Until that is happening, guys, your trend and your positional bias is going to be to the downside again and again and again. It's going to be to the downside, guys. Look. If you are having difficulty trading these assets in a bear trend, I would suggest you guys to simply hit Alt plus I and invert the chart right here and trade this like a bull trend. Now all you have to do is just hit that fucking red button instead of that freaking green button, right? And you will be just trading something like that, guys. Now these values are something which causes a lot of FOMO in so many people's brain because, guys. let's just say nobody is objectively driven everybody is in the market to just watch these assets go to the upside up 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 only up up, up which is why a lot of people is simply negate a lot of technical analysis as well guys you simply invert the chart and you can see the trend guys now this is a bull trend right this is a complete bull trend for that matter you can change the candle colors as well you can make these fucking red candles green back again and you can start all you have to do is hit that red button instead of that green button remember if you are still watching these videos if you are still navigating through YouTube you really want to stay in the crypto markets and you don't want to be in crypto markets anymore without any objective if you don't have any objective if you don't have any plan in these markets most likely market will take everything away from you guys this is a strong bear trend emergence as of now as of now you do want to revert to some key levels on bitcoin guys now again one more thing whatever the fuck bitcoin is going to do bitcoin and ethereum in general is going to do this is the market is simply going to follow that the entire market is simply going to fo follow that guys and bitcoin had a dump of 2.5 or 3 percent right ethereum had a dump of 5 percent guys polka dot or let's just say bnb or something like ethereum classic for that matter went down for 10 freaking percent guys this is this is the hierarchy this is the crypto market hierarchy your strongest if the strongest sells off by 2 percent the, the weaker the asset is it's going to sell off even further down the line in terms of the percentage basis right now well guys this is looking to be like a continuation trend as of now on polkadot itself and your let's just say guys this is your support line i'm i've inverted the chart and this one will become a resistance line if i just invert it back again and your ultimate polkadot target is going to be oh. uh i i look i don't want to say this number this is it hurts me okay it it kills me also guys look when the price action on the entire crypto market starts trending to the downside there are a lot of other things as well across the crypto market space which go to shit guys a lot of things go to shit and and the most important thing for me personally is the general social media engagement for crypto assets they also go to shit guys they also go to shit and it is going to hurt a lot of people in a lot of ways if bitcoin breaks below 30k man a lot is going to happen right but if you are still willing to stay in these markets just try to build yourself as a trader and look at 
the markets like an objective these things are intangible freaking crypto assets you can't feel them you can't touch them you can't see them as well you can just simply trade these candles to the upside or the downside right and if you are want to survive in this market guys just figure out your edge as a trader stick to a plan and don't deviate from your plan the more you deviate from your plan the more wrecked you're going to get in the coming days guys have a plan key times to have a plan right all right guys next analysis for you guys is cardano now the story is pretty similar to ethereum's price action itself as we are uh, we are trending currently alongside the 21 simple itself guys now this one is exactly looking like ethereum and this fat has ugly candle calls for a huge fat as rejection on ada as well on to these levels so basically it means that you are are completely fine trending alongside this trend line as well and you could completely be bullish in the small time frames to mid time frames all the way until this price point right even if it comes here most likely it's going to be a sell in the first pass guys although what i personally feel and how i would look at this if i really want to trade this one with a long bias i would just go for a little bearish retracement coming off of this low right here well to be honest with you i'm just going to take this moving average as a potential low i'm going to drag this one down all the way towards the candle closure guys also in a, a in the bear market you have to be conservation uh, you have to be a conservationist in terms of your price action targets as well guys in terms of the price action targets as well do not over welcome yourself don't just don't go don't go for a position and just think that this this is going to go to moon don't go for a long position and sit on the sidelines wondering that cardano is going to go to 10 dollars anymore no guys this is a big fat rejection on candle on the weekly this changes a lot of things these sort of price action on all the crypto markets they change a lot of thing it's just so hard to look at these price action man it just kills me it is kind of killing me now why am i talking about emotions all of a sudden guys i am an active crypto market participant i have looked at all the upsides and the downsides happening in the previous 5 years in this freaking crazy crypto market and guys whenever these things happen yes certainly it is going to have a little of little bit just guys just little bit of uh, negative impact in terms of the general thing for me as well right whereas whereas guys money making time to be honest with you trading if you if you have a plan if you have an edge as a trader this is the time to be a trader guys range trading is going to be crazy guys crazy amount of opportunity in terms of just getting in getting out getting in getting out now this was a hold right here guys now you could have just held on to the first wave and just waited for the price action to go to the upside it was a simple hodl right here right now the the bearish bias in the weekly time frame is suggesting this fact that you're going to be range bound guys you're going to be simply range bound right now once you start closing your let's just say 12 hour candles above this price point guys let's jump on to some 4 hour time frame where most of the action is happening alongside the entire crypto market as well guys rejecting the 200 simple on the 4 hour time frame again which means that in the small time frames your 1.55 dollar level is going to be resistance right now once you tick below this level right here once you go above this volume node happening on the 1.66 dollar levels guys your first and the foremost target for a bearish retracement move is going to be at 1.8 dollar levels per cardano and most likely going to get rejected on these price points once you start taking this resistance again guys 886 the deep retracement is going to be your target right but the ultimate rejection if you just simply go to the upside like a v shape v shaped recovery onto these price points which does not look to me like anymore guys this is not a v shaped recovery you came back and sweep you just, you, you went to the lows back again it's not looking like a v shaped recovery anymore but let's just let's just say if you just take this level out to the upside your father of our rejection is standing at 2.35 dollar levels on cardano right well this one defines our ranges man this is this is crazy how neatly these ranges are defined guys fibonacci levels acting as support resistance like a charm man crazy crazy guys crazy any retracement is going to be a bearish retracement at least all the way until the previous all time high on cardano itself now to the downside to the downside you don't want to you don't want to sweep the lows again guys basically you don't want to trend below the 1.25 one to five dollar levels guys you don't want to trend below that once you start doing that this entire let's just say this entire support is going to get into jeopardy and you will be breaking down below onto some key levels guys now the volume node is sitting now okay okay let's just not talk about that now this this is crazy i i, I think i think this is not going to happen but most of the market volume most of the market participants on cardano usdt in terms of the volume nodes are sitting on these price points and these uh, and, and these price points guys you have a huge volume vortex on cardano as well man oh man if we just look at the reality of these crypto assets the, these assets are afloat without any base man holy crap guys volume nodes on binance there's no base i mean there's no base i mean look 
you do have some support happening on this this level right below one dollar levels you do have teeny tiny bit of support right here and let's just say major support happening on these price points but guys well rejecting this level would be catastrophic for ada itself all right guys i'm going to be closing this video right here and if you want me to take a look at your favorite shit coin leave your request in the discord server itself i'll be having the links to the discord channel and the invites as well down in the description guys make sure you put a request make sure you join the discord channel we are looking at some crazy trading environments have an objective i'm going to repeat myself again and again at the end of every single video henceforth have an objective have a plan if you don't have a plan better stay the fuck away from crypto markets all right guys i'm just gonna close the video right here i'll catch you all in the next video pretty soon bye for now